I was asked by LU if I wanted to try out their Neptune 3 Pro. I said, sure. I've always liked Neptune as a planet. And here we have the Neptune 3 Pro. Links to purchase will be down in the description below. Here we have a 225 by 225 by 280 build volume. And um, it's got a lot of features for a pretty low price. And what do we have here? Oh, good old warning signs. Okay, that we got change the power supply but um, you know to 110 and an instruction manual all right standard power cable good old bag of goodies here uh, I mean we got bolts we got tools we got allen keys we got a USB cable yeah we got lots of stuff there magnetic base huh okay so uh, we got a corded uh, display coming up here don't we we have the spool holder, mm -hmm. typical, when it mounts on the top, and then it feeds down through a filament runout sensor. And we have our gantry here. Looks like we got some dual Z's and a direct drive. Okay, a belt tensioner. Looks pretty good. And what do we got here? Hey, we got a little, oh, we got a phone. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a touch screen. 4.3 inch removable display on a cord. Phone cord, that is. Plug it right into the phone socket. No, just kidding. Don't do that. Do not do that. And then we have the base. Pretty tightly packed here. So I'll just take it out a little bit later. And we have a flexible PEI sheet, textured and smooth. All right, let's get this box out of the way, shall we? And um, send it off. To oblivion. See ya! And here it is. The build is straightforward and simple. Of course we got our usual suspects here. I'm gonna put the gantry on. It's got a little bit of a notch there. And we're going to insert two bolts in on each side. And since it's notched we could just go ahead and tighten both of them down and then rinse and repeat. You may need to move that cable loom out of the way a little bit to get one of the bolts through but not too bad tighten it down and we are good to go now your gantry is in place now we have uh, five screws here but uh, we're going to use three of them to mount our uh, magnetic base for our display just go ahead and move the printer off to the side a little bit no reason to tilt this printer on its side to do the gantry or this just move it and for once, I did not lose an Allen key during a build. Ha! Check that out. And the display just slides right on. And you plug in your phone. I mean, display. Of course. Now we're going to uh, install our uh, spool holder here. And then we're going to mount it right on the top. Take those two screws that were in the bag for the display and just fasten it right there. And then we have our filament runout sensor. Screw is in the bag. Hey, Oreo, what are you doing? Yep, she's gonna see what's going on. You know, Bear gets all, all the screen time, it seems. And it's a fidget spinner. And let's go ahead and plug in the Z's. Oh, did I mention this has dual Z's? Well, it does. Flip over the power supply to 115 and go over to the other Z and let's uh, go ahead and plug in, um, what, we got uh, three cables here. We got the the other Z, we got, um, I don't know, what is that, uh, limit switch, and um, filament runout sensor, I believe. And then let's go ahead and plug in the X-axis up here, and the X-axis limit switch. Done. Now we have a ribbing cable for our hot end, and we're going to just go ahead and feed it in, squeeze it, and put it in place. It is keyed, so it can only fit one way. And let's go ahead and tuck in this ribbon cable behind here. And now that's nice and tidy. Now let's go ahead and secure the loom, so to speak, to the X. And let's go ahead and plug in the filament runout sensor. And we're going to go ahead and start with um, 
some Profit uh, 3D um, filament here. It's a mint. I really love that color. And that is it. She is all assembled. Looks pretty good. Now, some peely time. Well, that wasn't satisfying. That's it? And it takes a few seconds for the screen to boot up. And um, we get greeted with four blocks here. Let's go ahead and hit level. We're going to hit confirm. And it's going home. Wow, look at all those points. That's like 36 points here. It looks like it was meshed by the factory at one point. So we're going to just hit level and we're going to hit confirm. And this is going to heat up, which is great to see. And this took a, a couple minutes for it to do all these points. There are no leveling springs or anything or nuts. Um, this is a fixed bed. So you may want to make sure that there's no wobble or anything with the, and adjust the extra nuts on the bottom. And once this is done, you shouldn't really have to adjust this bed again anytime soon. Gives you a little graphic here about how to do your Z offset and what to look for. Now let's take a look at some of the features of this uh, Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. And when you start to print, you get a, um, a little preview, which is nice. And again, the display is removable by magnet. And um, it doesn't really have anything really advanced down here, but it's enough to get you going. And uh, you just and it's very responsive. Again, nothing real fancy about it, but uh, it is very functional. And I like it that it's magnetic. You have your belt tensioners on the X and the Y. Nice to see. Seems to be a little bit more standard nowadays to see this. And then we have the filament runout sensor that pivots on the top. I really like seeing that. And we have a direct drive. We also have a uh, dual cooling on here on both sides. And if we pivot to the rear of the machine, you'll see that we have dual Z stepper motors. Definitely nice to have. And then on the top, hey, a light bar. That's pretty cool. But before we continue on, I'd like to introduce today's video sponsor. And today's video sponsor is PCB Way. Are you looking for a PCB? Well, look no further than PCB Way. They're their one-stop shop for your PCB and manufacturing needs. You want to just generate a quote? It's pretty simple. You could do a standard PCB, advanced PCB. You could do a FTC rigid flex PCB. You could do some assembly. And you could also do SMD stenciling. But that's not it. They also offer CNC and also 3D printing. <laughs> it's literally a one-stop shop for all your needs. Looking for a little project to do? Look at the shared projects. And you can go ahead and basically order a whole kit and just do a little project that someone else has created. It's a great community section for to share your ideas and have other people build the projects that you are working on. And I would like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue on to the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. Now, it is recommended by Elegoo to install their um, pre-configured version of Cura for Elegoo. And I'm not the biggest fan of it, but uh, let's go ahead and choose uh, the Neptune 3 Pro and uh, hit OK. Now, I do have multiple versions, so you'll see that configuration error, but go ahead and just choose Ignore. And let's go ahead and um, run some test prints and see how this Elegoo Neptune 3 prints. And for this, I decided to do more of a practical print. This is from Stephen Lightspeed. You can find this on Colts. This is a Xbox 360-1 controller stand. You attach the riser to the base using this uh, 3D printed uh, bolt. And find the biggest Allen key you can find in your collection to tighten it down. I give it about a quarter of a grunt. Not, not too much. Man, this print came out really, really nice. That is uh, purple from Polymaker. And these side panels are from Profit. They're mint green. Oh, maybe we could throw an LED RGB in the back here. Yep. 
Let's go ahead and pick this up and uh, put it back here. It's got a remote. And what I'll do, instead of gluing these on, I'll just use some um, not really strong double-sided tape. Put them on the sides here. And that way I can remove these uh, panels if needed a little bit later to replace the batteries if I so choose. But, wow, that print came out really sharp. It's a really cool stand. The back has an access port in case if you want to just put the LEDs in the back there. And look at this. Really cool looking. And uh, let me uh, show you how you actually use it. So you just put your headphones on the top here and you have a spot for two controllers. And there you go. Neat and tidy. Man, I really like this practical print and the print just came out great. Simple design and just shows off the quality of the printer. I've been using this printer for about a week and it just worked great. I printed the calibration cube, the Buddha, a few little files here and there and the stand and everything just worked out great now there's some needs for improvement here like the direct drive it doesn't have a, a tensioner on it that would be nice to have and man that chin jay leno will be proud it, it is so fashionable to take a shot at jay leno and those were basically the only two things i could think of that need some improvement but for 230 dollars are you kidding me you get a lot, a lot of features here for $230. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also has a silent board in here too. But yeah, um, that's why 2022 is probably one of the best uh, printers you can get for the price. And you have a Black Friday sale going on here at the time of this video, of course. And all the links are going to be below if you choose to purchase one. Now. This is for the people who have made it this far into the video. I checked the stats. I know how much people watch videos and skip ahead and don't watch to the end. But this is for you. This printer right here, the one that I'm testing, yes, this printer will be given away. And to enter, all you have to do is comment below. But there is a catch. The catch is, is that I do not want this printer going to someone that already owns a 3D printer. The keyword to uh, enter the drawing at random is Neptune. However, I just don't want to see people typing in Neptune. Those will be skipped over if you just type in the word Neptune. You have to say why you're looking to get into 3D printing and followed by a word Neptune because that's going to be the keyword that's searched for the random drawing. The lucky draw will happen within two weeks of the release of this video. So be on the lookout for a comment. If you do not respond to that comment within 12 hours, it'll get re-rolled and another person will be drawn. So good luck to the potential winner. And I really appreciate you tuning into Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. See you the next time on Tripod's Garage.